Hey everybody, we're down here in the jungle on a Friday. I'm Josh, again. And after a few trees have fallen, we're gonna go ahead and do our part, restore some of this wood so it's usable, recycle what we can, bring it up to the house, and use it where it's needed. So this wood right here is pine, which is not native to the jungles, but they do grow very tall and very big down here. Nice. Common termites in the different continents will have the same kind of effect on wood, but in the jungle, they're very vigorous. So they'll come down here and eat wood and a piece like this, maybe one month and it's, it's ruined. So we put used car oil on it exactly. and it protects it. Got to have everything fresh just like this. Recycle, reuse. Uh, it's just how much oil to grab with the... Um and how far I spread it because every time I dip it inside the bucket that's going to be six inches instead of you know a foot and a half you like, dip that puppy and spread it like you're spreading Nutella sandwich right. it's basically used car oil so the sky's the limit Kitchen is coming along. It's Friday, Josh. What do you think of that idea? I think we're going to do movies. And then tonight, Alan can fall asleep. The cameraman can fall asleep. And then on Saturday, we're going to do movies again. And then I'm going to get the options then. Yeah, let's not watch something freaking pansy-ish. Watch some real man movie. Yeah, uh -huh, yeah. You wanted to explain my movie. We were watching. We were watching the new. Not. We were watching the new Chinese cinema. I've seen how they turned out. I've Chinese seen, cinema. I, I've been away. Get this, everybody. I've been away for five years from electronic. I didn't know what WhatsApp was. I didn't know what half the stuff was going out. Like right, after, right before the election started, Obama uh, was being put out. Is whenever I left the United States. And then I really haven't been on the computer since then. So then I was, I've always been interested in cinema, just production. So you I'm heard it, Clint Eastwood? There's a real I man's do. guy. Of course I do. Okay, we're watching Clint Eastwood movies. But the thing I like to do is not just watch American cinema. I like to watch cinema all over the world. All right. So that's why we watch that Chinese movie. He's over there giving me huff, but I'm just like, are you really a connoisseur? Are you just giving me huff? <laughs> I was just giving you a half. Come on. I know, I know. Relax, relax. So, we're down here at the gazebo by the lake. But what I wanted to point out was we used our own pine for the trusses for supporting the roof. Now we have real strong roof trusses um, made out of pine that were treated with used car oil. Put one layer on, let her dry, put another one on. Bingo, no more bugs eating our wood. We are now reusing and recycling in a way that's environmentally friendly. I'm gonna go for a swim. The Azola moved in hard, but um, I'm gonna go for a swim because in these conditions you can see lots of fish and all kinds of cool stuff. Just hope I don't see a crocodile. Friday afternoon, nothing like it.
You having fun? Uh oh, broke the box. Nonis are super food, okay? They're good for anti-aging, good for arthritis, good for your immune system, good for your skin. Look at me, 52, eating nonis. Um, this is the right kind of noni, and um, there is a wrong kind and a right kind. I see the wrong kind here. It's too mushy. Let me just show you. Okay, if it gets old and mushy like that, that's disgusting, and my fingers are going to reek. Ooh. Um, did you get that? Oh! Anyway, they're, they're gross enough to eat. Luckily, I have joy to make them taste good. The little green ones, that's not good either. They've got to be just like that. But what you can also eat are the leaves. If you find nice leaves, then grab them. You can boil those. Do we boil these, sweetie? And eat them. Eat them. Good for you. So I'm getting a little tired of rotting fence posts. You know, they break. They rot. They get full of bugs. What we have here is living fence posts. People make these sticks, you plant them in the ground, they come alive. It's a special kind of tree. We know the guy that's got them. He's an old guy. We can catch him after work. And we're gonna start switching our fence line over to living fence posts. I don't even like fences myself, but in Panama you kinda need them or else people walk onto your property and dump all their garbage. So living fence posts is the way to go. And that's what we're going to do. Good rainy morning, everyone. I'm going to make some coffee. But, did you know we can reuse our coffee grinds? Well, we don't really reuse them, but coffee grinds are perfect for your compost or for some plants. It's a slightly acidic. However, you can create a nice microbial interchange by adding a little coffee grinds to your plants or your compost. Recycle, repurpose, reuse. And doesn't coffee taste so much better when you know you've done everything in your power to make it as minimal of a footprint as possible? Instead of buying whatever we need to add acidity or nutrients to our compost or flowers or plants, we use the coffee grinds. I mean, you're shooting through a screen right now in a repurposed sea container home. So we reduced our carbon footprint in our own home dwelling and in our own coffee we drink in the morning. Oh, that's good. Pineapple isn't just a pineapple, it's a repurposed pineapple. We eat the pineapple and replant the tops and we get a new pineapple. Perpetual pineapples. Very yummy food, my love. Is there anything you would like to say about recycling? Recleaning your matches. Oh yeah, okay I'll do that right after breakfast. Time check, 12 p.m. <laughs> so, I've been kind of silly through this whole video, you know, joking around with Josh and 
joy and everything. But one thing we all agree on um, and why we're all here is we're trying to do something to help the planet out. This is the lifestyle we want. Here's a tire. It's not our tire. We, we've got about 30 tires on the property, which are all just picked up from the roadside because everybody uses every rural, rural road in Panama as a dump site. So uh, we do what we can. We pick up the tire and uh, we fill it up with stuff and we plant something special. This is a red rare banana. So I've got this thing about planting rare foods that's endangered and we can go on about that on another video. But essentially the tire is now acting as a support. We fill it up, gives nutrition and a microbial balance inside and we have beautiful bananas popping up. So with all the tires that we've collected and we don't really need the things, we're just doing this to help clean up the country. And we're hoping others will follow suit. Um, essentially, people come up to me and they say, what can we do? Well, there's lots of things you can do um, to save our planet. Um, but the main thing is recycle, reuse, repurpose is the main thing of this video. And that's something everybody can do, you know? We have to stop thinking about economic growth and actually start thinking about degrowth. And degrowth actually becomes more affordable for all of us. I'll give you an example. How many of you living in suburbia have an uh, inner city park where you can pick your own fruits and vegetables? Chances are none of you because the system we live in is rigged to make you have to go buy fruits and vegetables in the grocery store. And those fruits and vegetables come from all over the place which uses fossil fuels and blah blah. Degrowth would actually be cheaper on humanity and part of degrowth is recycle, reuse, repurpose. Like an old tire, like your coffee grinds, like painting your boards with used car oil, or like using, like Joy showed in another video, cardboard, mulch on top, we're taming the jungle. Hope you enjoyed the video. Adios, amigos. See you guys next time on Eco... What's it called again? <laughs> Eco Jungle? The Jungle Eco Reserve Vlog. Um, Jungle Eco Reserve Video Channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment about what you think about the videos lately. Yeah. Brownies in the jungle. Yummy. Yeah,